Hey everyone, welcome for this tutorial. So today guys I'm going to show you how to make a dope transition uh, in and out on After Effects because there were so many asking me to do this tutorial. Um, so yeah, so guys I just want to say firstly before starting this tutorial, uh, thank you to Ring with the hoodie. Uh, he's the one that made those tricksters. So I'm going to put his uh, channel link in the description. So make sure to check him out guys, he's really awesome. Um, so yeah, let's start the tutorial right now. So uh, we got two clips right here. As you can see, we got two uh, clips of Toby from Naruto. Uh, right now, what we're gonna do is pretty simple. We're gonna go right to the effect and preset panel, and we're gonna type motion tile, just like that. So this is not an effect that you download out of anywhere, any website or whatever. This is a preset from After Effects, so you don't have to download it. So once you have it on your uh, effect and preset search bar, you're gonna drag it to the first clip. And for the output width, you're gonna click on that and you're gonna press 400. And for the output height, you're gonna put it also at 400. So right now you're gonna take that marrow edges box, just like that. And yeah, this is going pretty good guys. Uh, right now we're gonna, you see that little square next to your clip? Uh, you're gonna click on the right, go to new, go to null object. So it's gonna create that kind of a layer above your clip. So right now what you're gonna do is go to the end of your clip, of your first clip at least, and you're gonna cut that null object to in, in order to trim it to the size of your clip. So make sure it's really, as you can see, mine is not perfectly done, there we go. So make sure it's the same uh, size of your clip, uh, length, sorry. Um, and once you have that null object above your clip, you're gonna duplicate it. So you're gonna have two similar, uh, I mean, same null objects above your clip. So right now we're doing pretty good. We're gonna click on um, your clip and you can see that little symbol right here. So what you're gonna do now is you're gonna enable the motion blur. So you're gonna enable the motion blur for your clip, for the first null object and for the second null object. There you go. So make sure to save what you're doing. So in case uh, it crashes, uh, you're gonna, you know, be able to keep uh, on going. So right now, what you're gonna do is go to your clip, and you're gonna see that little uh, add symbol. You're gonna click it, and then drag it to your first null object, which is this one. And this null object, you're gonna click that similar symbol and the same symbol, and you're gonna drag it to the clip right above, I mean, the null object, the second null object. So right now what we're gonna do is basically click on S, uh, which is a scale shortcut uh, for scale. Um, so right now you're gonna click on that scale clock symbol and you're gonna drag that keyframe to the end of your clip, but make sure this is really at the end of your clip. And then you're gonna go back to the beginning and you're gonna click, for example, 200. There we go. So don't worry if it's all zoomed in and weird. This is the point of it. Uh, just do not worry about that. So right now you got two keyframes, one at the beginning and one at the end. You're gonna drag the both of them, or you're gonna select the both of them, and press F9 on your keyboard to easy in. And see that little TV logo? We're gonna click on it, which is basically a graph editor uh, for the easy in and easy out. So you're gonna enable this little uh, square as you can see we just enable it and so because it's 200 we're gonna drag it all the way down there so the first line you're gonna drag it to all the way down there and that second line on the right you're gonna drag it right below this first line so it looks kind of a of a you know like a square like you get what I mean like a 19 90 degree angle thing if you get what I mean uh, so we've done this for the first null object. So we're, not, we're gonna do for the second null object. So press S again, which gonna enable the scale. Click on the clock again, and then 
We're gonna go all the way to the end of your clip, but do not drag that keyframe. We're gonna leave it here. And we're gonna click on 80, for example, which is gonna create a single sim uh, keyframe. So right now you're gonna again drag the both keyframe and we're gonna sorry about that. We're gonna go to that little TV symbol again and then do the same thing here. And because we're doing 80 scale number thing, you know what I mean? We're gonna have to do this to all the way up here. As you can see. So just to make sure again, see? It has to be the same thing, but this one is here and this one is here, right below it. So it's kind of another square, but this far. So we've done the first clip, guys. Basically, as you can see, it looks uh, pretty, pretty nice. So right now we're gonna do the second clip. Uh, so we're gonna do pretty much the same thing again. So we click on S, click on scale, and we're gonna drag that keyframe to the end again. And as I said at the beginning, make sure it's at the end because you do not want this to be after the end of your clip. So right now we're gonna do a different way. Instead of 200 at first, we're gonna do 80. There we go. So see this, uh, this, this little, it's like there's two characters. Uh, it's a, it's, it looks a bit weird, whatever. So don't worry about that. That's why we're gonna easy in and everything. So easy in with F9 again, and we're gonna uncheck this. And because this is 80, we're gonna drag it on the top. There we go. So it looks nice and clean. As you can see, there's a you know still a bit of weird stuff. So don't worry. If that's the case, you can drag this one up here, and you know try to zoom this a little bit more so that we don't see don't worry it doesn't have to be perfect i mean most of the time you won't see that because it will go so far that you won't see it but you can still make it a bit nicer you can also put some blur at first so that we don't see it don't worry about that so right now we're gonna go to the second null object and we're gonna go to the end of your clip and let's say let's put it at 200. we're gonna select the both And as you can see, I haven't selected the both of them. There we go. So right now, uh, because we did 200, we're gonna drag the one up there to the one below. There we go. And guys, we're done. That's it. That's pretty much all you have to do. Uh, let's check the result. There we go, guys. That's pretty much all you have to do. It looks pretty nice. I really like this transition effect. You can be creative with it. Um, I really like this transition. That's pretty much what every uh, AMV editor uses. Uh, I hope this tutorial helped you guys. I hope uh, this was really helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I try to reply to every comment. So uh, please let me know if there's anything that you want to know uh, in better details. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope this helped you and uh, please consider subscribing. That would mean a lot to me. Uh, check out my Instagram in the description and leave a like. That would mean a lot to me, guys. And it will prove me that I should do more tutorial for you guys. So thank you for watching and have a good day.